G'day, how's it going? So, we're off on a meat hunt. It's been a while, so pretty excited. Dogs are pretty excited. Um, yeah, nice day for it. Not too sunny, um, just sort of overcast and the bush is nice and wet. Um, so yeah, we'll rip into it and see what we can find. Not too fussy today, so um, yeah, if we find a deer, we'll take that. If we find a pig, even better, we'll take that. So um, yeah, come along and we'll see how we get on. Cheers. It's a bit different in here today because it's all um, there's like a low fog sitting in the bush. Um, makes it feel a wee bit different. The birds are a wee bit quieter. There's no wind at all, um, which isn't ideal for the dogs to work. But um, at least nothing should smell us before we bump into it, which is a good thing. Um, and yeah, a wee bit of sign. Older sign, fresh deer sign, we've seen a fair bit of that. Um, and just sort of a pig sign that's a couple of days old. Still got scent on it, but not enough for the dogs to find off. So, yeah, we've only been walking for about an hour so far. So, um, yeah. Righto, so just stopped for a bit of a bite to eat. Nice little clearing we found up here. Um, yeah, I just found a bit of this onga onga, or stinging nettle, or tree nettle. Um, yeah, for, you, for those of you that don't know um, what it is, I thought I'd just explain it a bit. Um, so yeah, this is a native tree nettle to New Zealand, and it's a pretty gnarly one compared to a lot of the introduced species and um, a lot of the species you see growing around farmland and stuff. So these ones have got pretty gnarly spikes on them as you can see. And yeah, that, that all those spikes have got a toxin in them. And when you brush past it, they'll shoot the toxin into your skin and it's um, sort of similar to a bee sting type of stingy feeling um, can last for a few days won't really hurt you too much um, other than that unless you got like a huge amount of it and had, not, had a reaction to it so yeah you don't have to like touch it very much if you haven't been stung by it you just have to sort of go like this and that got in there I could feel a few little tingles um, and that'll sort of get a bit red soon kind of like a bee sting and so yeah that's what it looks like well on me anyway the stings it's sort of come up like that and 
less than a minute really. But yeah, it's quite bad for dogs because often the pig will run into a big bush of stinging nettle, it's only a little bit, but um, you get areas that are just full of the stuff. And the pig will run in there because it doesn't affect the pig and the dogs will chase it and um, get all stung up. And they can actually die from it if they get it. Um, too many stings. So I carry the stuff over here. Which is Phenigan. And it's just an antihistamine. And you can get it from a vet. Must be a possum in here. Oh wow, looks like venison's on the menu tonight. Bit of deer heart. Oi, kiwi! It's a so yeah, we're just, um, I didn't get any footage of anything that just happened because it was a bit, bit of a stare down for about two or three minutes there. Um, I just saw kiwi looking down the hill here over, we were sort of up on a nice little bench and she was looking down the side and I come over and um, I saw one deer, but she was through all these trees. It's real. There's lots of heaps of lot of pitor in here, and it's just bloody hard to get a clear shot. And I was watching one for ages with no clear shot, and then I noticed there was one just below us, even closer. Um, but there was no good shot on here either. Um, and they were kind of they knew something was up, so I didn't want to get the camera out um, and stuff it up. But yeah. Eventually one of them moved and um, put a shot into her and she's right there, she pretty much folded on the spot, so it's good, good result, um, yeah. Yeah, so this is where she was standing when we shot her, instant blood trail. <laughs> she didn't go far at all. Ah. Bloody hell, you've made a mess, Kiwi. That's a perfect meat animal, though, man. Beautiful. Nice coat on her. Get, it's enough. I'm thinking my bullet must have actually hit a tree, um, even though I thought I had a clear shot, because that's the entry hole believe it or not, for the 243, so it's far too big if it, if it had hit it um, cleanly. It's probably mushroomed. The bullet must have mushroomed out after going through a bloody stick and then, then hit the deer. But still sort of hit it where I was aiming, so that's all right. Saved that shoulder. Still clipped this other shoulder on the other side. But, wait, that's enough. Oh uh, yeah, beautiful, nice animal.
Right, eh? So we got the butchering done. Just got the meat hanging up now, just so it can cool down before we pack it into um, our bag there. But yeah, managed to actually get most of both front shoulders. There's only a tiny bit of bruising, but um, pretty good. It's gonna be um, bloody tender, I'd say. <clears throat> There's even a wee bit of fat on these back legs, they look bloody nice. See those bits of fat in there? Oh, I might actually have a bit of that now. Look at that, that's gold. For anyone who's used to living on wild meat, they'll know that that stuff's, um, you know, pretty, pretty hard to come by at times. So when you get it, it's pretty damn good.